Hi, I'm Michael and this is Maker's Workshop. Today we're going to be tackling our hardware storage, which is just a bunch of nuts and bolts and small things like that. So one of the things that was important to us in a storage solution was that it was stackable. So I found these inexpensive containers that have two different sizes of box that are stackable. So that provides a lot of different opportunities for configuration there. But the issue that we ran into is no matter what price point we were looking at, the inside containers that are removable come in a configuration that just doesn't really feel the most versatile for what we're trying to use it for. We're going to use 3D modeling and 3D printing to model each one of these three sizes so that we can create whatever configuration we want with just the click of a button. Before I start 3D modeling, I always measure the piece and take notes of specific dimensions as well as distinct characteristics of the object. For example, these cups have a very subtle taper to them. Because I want the finished pieces to fit right in with the store-bought pieces, I took note of this to make sure mine matched. I made 3D models of all three sizes, even though I'm currently planning on using just the small size to allow me to change and modify them easily in the future without needing to go back to the design phase. Next, I opened up Shaper 3D. I started by creating the top and bottom of each cup. I then lofted them together to create the subtle taper. From there, I rounded the edges to match the originals and then converted the shape to a shell. Lastly, I made the feet, being sure to position them just right so that they'll sit in the grooves on the base of the organizer. I'm putting all three of them on our Thingiverse account as a free download. The link will be in the description along with a link to the exact organizers they were designed for. And then it was time for a test print. This almost never happens, but my first draft fit perfectly and it didn't need any changes. Which meant I could start kicking out the big batches in lots of different colors. One of the things I love about this 3D printer is its ability to accurately print multiples on one plate. It made quick work of this particular project. The longest part of this, other than the printing, was removing all of the supports, but I'll breeze through that for the sake of the video. And then, I refilled the organizers so they were exclusively small containers. In my space, I'm going to use one color for each organizer. This will make it so if one gets left out, or if we're working out of multiple trays at once, it'll be simple to identify where they belong when it's time to pick up. I've also been taking the time to label each cup with exactly what is in it, so when it runs empty, I'll know what I need to buy. That's going to make a big difference towards keeping everything neat and tidy in the shop. We didn't have a use for the bigger boxes in our designs, but if you do, everything will be linked in the description. We're going to make the 3D files free on Thingiverse, and we will also link the boxes that they were made for on Amazon, and they're also available at Harbor Freight as well. Between the 3D files and the trays, you have a very customizable solution for hardware and small parts. Until next time, I'm Michael and this is Maker's Workshop. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe.